Looking to give back this holiday season? Donate to the Army Historical Foundation. For 40 years, the Army Historical Foundation has ensured our nation never forgets the sacrifices of those who serve. As the Army's nonprofit partner, the Foundation constructed the National Museum of the United States Army. The Foundation's work also extends beyond the museum's walls, restoring artifacts, touring historic battlefields, and remembering all we owe to America's Army veterans. Donate today at ArmyHistory.org. Hey, can I tell you a secret? The secret to getting a great shave without any nicks, cuts, or irritation isn't three or four blades, a soap strip, or a swivel head. It's just supporting the blade. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just supporting the blade. Don't let it flex or bend. That's the secret to limiting shaving irritation. At Henson Shaving, we use our 20 years of aerospace manufacturing to keep the blade from moving. It's not the coolest answer, but it's the right one. To learn more and to get 100 blades for free, go to hensonshaving.com slash holiday. Presenting the transcribed Egbert and Umley show with Herb Sheldon. I'm Egbert, the bookworm. I'm Umley, the steam shovel. I'm Herb Sheldon in person, so let's clap hands to the music. Hi there, Umley. What is that you're reading? Well, Mr. Sheldon, it's a letter from a friend of mine, a fellow named Clancy. Clancy? So what does he do? He doesn't do very much, Mr. Sheldon. You see, he's a reindeer. Clancy the reindeer? Well, what do you know? I didn't know that you had any reindeer friends, Umley. What does Clancy write? Well, Clancy is a little unhappy. You see, he's a young, ambitious reindeer. And as everybody knows, the ideal, the ambition of all reindeer, is to pull Santa Claus's sleigh. That's quite an honor, Umley. And as I understand it, the positions are all taken. There's Dancer and Prancer and Comet and Vixen and... Yes, Mr. Sheldon. Clancy knows all about that. But he figures, how does a new reindeer get a break? Mm. How does he ever get a chance to show what he can do? Gee, now I don't know. I never thought about that at at all. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Omley. Let me think a little bit. We'll see what we can do to come up with an idea of how Clancy the reindeer can break in on the big time. Huh. I never gave it a minute's thought, but I guess I should have. How does a new reindeer get a chance? Round and round the Christmas tree, round and round we go. Round and round the Christmas tree, round and round we go. Waiting, 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 waiting all the year. But before you know it, Christmas will be here. Hey, round and round the Christmas tree, round and round we go. Round and round the Christmas tree, round and round we go. If Johnny gets a choo-choo to run across the ground, he'll only get to use it if Daddy ain't around. Hey, round and round the Christmas tree, round and round we go. Round and round the Christmas tree, round Round and round we go. Julie wants a painting set and painting fur to do. Uh-huh. She'll paint her sister yellow and make her mommy blue. Hey, round and round the Christmas tree, round and round we go. Round and round the Christmas tree, round and round we go. If Freddy gets a fish pole with hook and line to match, he found a fish on Christmas Day. A cold is what he'll catch. Hey, round and round the Christmas tree, round and round we go. Round and round the Christmas tree, round and round we go. thinks a dolly will be a perfect toy. She wants it made of rubber, a bouncing baby boy. Hey, round and round the Christmas tree, round and round we go. Round and round the Christmas tree, round and round we go. Susie's asked for ice skates to skate upon her toes. She'll go spinning like a top and get her bottom froze. Hey, round and round the Christmas tree, round and round we go. Round and round the Christmas tree, round and round we go. Nicky wants a football, so he's behaving fine. Look out for him on wash day, he'll punch right through your line. Hey, round and round the Christmas tree, round and round we go. Round and round the Christmas tree, round and round we go. Jimmy wants a bugle, his brother wants a drum. Paul will wish that he was deaf instead of being dumb. Hey, round and round the Christmas tree, round and round we go. Round and round the Christmas tree, round and round we go. Christmas will be here. Hey, round and round the Christmas tree, round and round we go. 
Round and round the Christmas tree, round and round we go. Round and round the Christmas tree, round and round we go. Round and round the Christmas tree, round and round we go. Hey! You know, boys and girls, Christmas is only a few days away. And I'll bet that you're as excited as I am. Of course, being a bookworm, one of the things that I hope that I get this Christmas is a book. Of course, you know that I'm all in favor of books. All kinds. I hope that you're in favor of them, too, because there's nothing quite like one. With a book, you can go back to any time in history, or even into the future. You can go to any place in the world. Maybe it isn't too late for this Christmas. You might want to tell your mother and dad that you'd like to get a book or two for Christmas this year. You know, Umley, I had a thought about your friend Clancy the Reindeer. What was it, Mr. Sheldon? Well, I know that there are lots of correspondence schools around the country. You can learn all sorts of things by mail, like plumbing or painting or mathematics. And I'm sure that we could find a correspondence school for your friend Clancy, a school that would teach him all the things he needs to know to be considered for Santa sleigh. Do you really think so, Mr. Sheldon? Yes, I do, Umley. Now, let me see. I'm sure that there were some advertisements for schools in that magazine I just saw. Well, what did you say about advertisements in a magazine? We were just talking, Umley and I, about a correspondence course for reindeer. Oh, come on now, Herb. You don't want to be a reindeer, do you? It's a pretty miserable life they have. You'd have to grow horns on your head, too. Oh, wait a minute. Let me see. How would they look? No, it's not for me, Egbert. I don't want to become a reindeer. No, you see, Egbert, Clancy is a friend of mine. He's a reindeer, and he feels left out of things. See? I just told you, Herb. You really shouldn't become a reindeer. Umley's friend Clancy feels left out of things. Now, I hope that will settle your problem once and for all. Never mind, Umley. It isn't any use trying to explain this to Egbert. You and I will just have to work it out for ourselves. Come on. We'll go hunt up a few schools for Clancy to go to. Listen, listen, oh, listen, listen, all oh, you children, listen, children, go, I will send thee, how will I send thee, oh, I'm a going to send thee one by one, one's for the little bitty baby who's born, born, born in Bethlehem, children, go, I will send thee. How will I send thee? Yes, I'm going to send thee two by two. Two's for Joseph and Mary. One's for the little bitty baby who's born, born, born in Bethlehem. Children, go, I will send thee. How will I send thee? going to send thee three by three three's for the three old wise men two's for joseph and mary one's, one's for, for the little bitty baby who's born 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 in bethlehem children go i will send thee how will i send thee yes i'm a going to send thee four by four four's for the four who stood at the door three's for the three old wise men two's for joseph and Mary, one one's for the little bitty baby who's born, born, born in Bethlehem. Children, go, I will send thee. How will I send oh, thee? I'm going to send thee five by five. Five's for the Hebrew children, four's for the four who stood 
at the door, three's for the free old wise man, two's for Joseph and Mary, one's for the little bitty baby who's born, born, born in Bethlehem. Children, go, I will send thee. How will I send thee? Oh, I'm a gonna send thee six by six. Six for the six who didn't get fixed. Five's for the Hebrew children. Four's for the four who stood at the door. Three's for the three old wise men. Two's for Joseph and Mary. One's for the little bitty baby who's born, born, born in Bethlehem. Children, go, I will send thee. How will I send thee? Send thee seven by seven, seven for the seven who went to heaven. Six for the six who had to get fixed. Five's for the Hebrew children. Four's for the four who stood at the door. Three's for the three old wise men. Two's for Joseph and Mary. One's for the little bitty baby who's born, 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 born in Well, Omni, I give up. I thought that somewhere there would be a school for reindeer. I did too, Mr. Sheldon. Gee, that's too bad. I guess there's no hope for Clancy now. Poor Clancy. He so much wanted to break into the big time and get to pull Santa's sleigh. I know, Omni. I'm sorry about it too, but after all, you can't have everything you want, you know. I suppose not. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. After all, what does a reindeer have to know especially to pull Santa's sleigh? After all, Santa tells you where to go, and all you have to do is to be strong and of good heart. By golly, you're right. That's Clancy, all right. Strong and of good heart. Then this is what we'll do, Emily. I'll sit down right now and send off a telegram to Santa and see if maybe, just maybe, there's a chance for Clancy. Hello? Operator, give me Western Union. Yeah. Uh, hello, Western Union. I want to send a telegram to the North Pole. That's right, North Pole. It's a straight wire to Santa Claus. Santa Claus. S-A-N-T-A-C-L-A-U-S. Yeah. Uh, here's the message. Would like to recommend reindeer named Clancy to pull the second section of your sleigh on Christmas Eve. Clancy is strong and of good heart. Tell Santa that Clancy likes boys and girls. Oh, okay, Emily. Uh, Clancy likes boys and girls. A and operator, sign it, Umley the Steam Shovel and Herb Sheldon. Yes. Thanks. Well, there you are, Umley. We've done all we can. Now the rest is up to Santa. If Clancy is lucky, he'll be pulling Santa's sleigh Christmas Eve. Boys and girls, I hope for Clancy's sake that Santa says yes. But right now, looks as if our time is up. And so until next time, this is Herb Sheldon saying so long for now.
today, enjoy your serenade to romance over most NBC radio stations. Breast milk science. It's a thing. And it's our thing. We're Byheart. We're an infant formula company on a mission to get a lot closer to the most super, super food on the planet. Breast milk. Our patented protein blend has more of the important and most abundant proteins found in breast milk. We're the first and only U.S.-made formula to use organic, grass-fed whole milk, not skim. We make our formula in our own factories in Iowa, Oregon, and Pennsylvania, using a small batch manufacturing process that works to preserve the integrity of our ingredients. We ran the largest clinical trial by a new infant formula company in 25 years and clinically proved benefits like easier digestion, less gas, and softer poops versus a leading infant formula. We were the first infant formula company to earn the Clean Label Project Purity Award. And while we've put a lot into Byheart, there's a long list of things you won't see on our ingredient list, like no corn syrup, no maltodextrin, no GMO ingredients, no soy, no palm oil. Byheart, a better formula for formula. Learn more at byheart.com. Heading downtown to a museum, sporting event, show, or for holiday shopping? Plan ahead for the Red Line service changes starting Monday, December 18th through Saturday, December 30th. Free shuttle buses will replace trains between DuPont Circle and Gallery Place. For more detailed information and travel alternatives, call 202-637-7000 or visit wmata.com, W-M-A-T-A.com. 